Hi guys! Welcome back to Thai 101. In this lesson, you will learn all about pronouns. They will definitely come in handy. And so let's get started. In the last two lessons, we've learned how to say I and you. Do you recall how to say I for female speakers in Thai? Yep, it is Di Chan. And what about I for male speakers? Exactly, Pom. Di Chan is very formal and not a lot of women that you meet would use Di Chan in everyday conversations. Except for those news reporters and news anchors on TV, Chan is less formal but still polite and it is more commonly used. So for example, when I want to say I'm fine, instead of saying Di Chan Sabai Di Ka, I could say Chan Sabai Di Ka. A lot of women also call themselves by their name. For example, if I want to say I'm fine, I could say Jenny Sabai Di Ka. I know it sounds weird to talk like a third person, but that's that's just how Thai people talk. I know we're weirdos. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Pom is I for male speakers. Pom can be used in any situation. It is polite, it is formal, and it and it is recommended for all men to use pom. Well, you can also call yourself by your name as well, but I think it's a little bit cutesy for men. Now, do you remember what kun is? Yes, kun is you. Kun is very polite and formal. You can use kun in any situation. Um, for example, kun sabai di mai ka, which means, are you fine? Another way of saying you is to call their name. Well, if you know their name. For example, if I'm talking to Nan, my friend, I could say Nan sabai di mai ka instead of kun sabai di mai ka, right? Or if I'm really, really close to her, I could say Nan Sabai Di Mai by dropping off the politeness marker. One thing you should know about Thai culture is that you should never call people who are older than you by their name only. For example, if I'm talking to June who's older than me, I should never say June Sabai Di Mai Ka. It is impolite disrespectful and rude. Instead, I add P in front of her name. I know P sounds disgusting in English, <laughs> but in this case, P means older sister or older brother. So if I say P June, it means sister June, basically. All right, so I should say P June Sabai Di Mai Ka or if I'm really, really close to her, I could say Pijun Sabai Di Mai without the politeness marker. But it is better to use politeness marker. I use politeness marker most of the times, most of the times, because I want to be polite. Now, how about those people who clearly old enough to be your auntie or uncle? What do we call them? Well, you can always call them Kun you, kun, but it is a little too formal. Like when you talk to a taxi driver, your hairstylist, fruit seller, it is a little too formal for everyday conversations. So you can call them P as well, and they will probably be very happy if you call them P, which means older sister, older brother because that means they're still young, you might probably get some discounts by calling them P. Um, but the word auntie or uncle in Thai is na, na. Alright, so for example, you can say na sabai di mai ka or na sabai di mai ka. Okay, next is we. We is puak rao in Thai. Puak rao, puak rao. 
for example, we're fine. พวกเราสบายดีค่ะ or พวกเราสบายดีครับ. Next is he or she. He or she in Thai is cow. We use cow for both he and she. For example, he or she is doing fine. We say ค่ะ or ค่ะ And the last pronoun is they. They in Thai is พวกเขาพวกเขา For example, they are fine. พวกเขาสบายดีค่ะ พวกเขาสบายดีค่ะ or พวกเขาสบายดีครับ I hope you find this lesson useful and keep practicing. You will master Thai in no time. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I say that at the end of every video because I'm willing to answer any questions regarding Thai language and Thai culture. Please leave comment on the comment box and yeah, I will see you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ